welcome to Friday Vibes and Makeup Time. Today's uh, makeup theme is going to be based off the year of the ox. Uh, Chinese New Year was February 12th. And uh, yeah, uh, February 13th, 14th, it's a lot of going on. It's a busy weekend. It was also Valentine's Day. I'm gonna have a Valentine's theme, uh, just like a picture of what I kind of did for Valentine's Day. Uh, went to the zoo, it was fun, fun. You know, going to the zoo, you can never be too old or too young. It's just animals. I mean, if you don't like animals, don't go, by all means. But, uh, so I did some research on some oxes. I know it's kind of weird animal to look up, but they're pretty neutral to colors, you know, browns, whites, oranges, reds, blacks. Um, but yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just gonna base off of, go based off of that. So I already did my face, my foundation, already got my primer. I kind of saved everybody the trouble of all that nonsense. But this today's palette, I'm gonna use the Nudes by Maybelline. I love Maybelline. I really do enjoy their brand. I've used them since forever, since I've, I think. I don't remember the first makeup brand I started using, but I know for sure I really like Maybelline. Okay, so this doesn't really have any fancy names, whether it's just colors. Uh, I'm gonna do like a, I guess a trio. So, I'm gonna use this color right here for my base. Let's see how that goes. Well, I've used it a lot. Gonna go pretty well. Now I'm gonna try to be more visual about putting on my eyeshadow. It's kind of hard applying eyeshadow when you know, I'm blind, though I do have my reflection right here on the screen. It's not really that easy. See, I don't like how it crests. I don't know, but uh. I have read, you know, people with hooded eyes is kind of, there's a special way to put on eyeshadow, but I just kind of go based on how it looks, you know? I know, so, uh, I didn't do a lot of research on the Chinese Zodiac, I don't know, I, I should probably feel that. But, anyways, so now for, I think I'm going to do a little white on top for this eyebrow. So I'm going to use this color right here. I'm sorry guys, I have to use a mirror. I'm like super blind. So I am going to do my eyebrows today. Last video was kind of a, a bust had technical difficulties you know this is all still new to me doing all this editing and stuff uh, some people have that skill I have been edited videos since college it was like over 10 years ago yeah I feel old now thanks thanks I just did that to myself but uh yeah if you're an ox this is your year 21. Oh, right. You are just gonna rock everybody's world with whatever you got coming for us. Okay, so we got that going. Now, um, I kind of want to use black. Black is very scary color to use in eye makeup. Only because you you already got black eyeliner on and then your mascara is black. So I'm just gonna go with the brown. Right here at the bottom, I'm gonna kind of try to just a little bit. It is very 
my eyeliner is gonna be a little heavy. Though, so far, it's not so bad. I am gonna blend a little bit at the top here. Make it a little bit lighter. You know, I feel kind of ridiculous. I usually don't do the three colors, but I'm just trying something new. You know, it's fun to experiment. It never hurts to try new things. I really am trying to show as much as possible. I'm going to put the camera. Okay. I haven't put any blush yet. It's kind of weighing on that. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. Um, this is faded. So I have no idea what it is. I just know that it was on sale for like $2. And I've used it a lot. I think it's B BK by Rise. I couldn't tell you. But you know. Yeah. So, like I said before, I try to go with a natural look. As much natural as possible. My eyebrows are kind of light, so I just kind of just darken them a little bit. I already like the shape of them. Last time I went and I got my eyebrows waxed, the lady gave me like some crazy. I don't know. I looked really angry, let's just say that. She, she had my super arched. I was like, ugh. I did not like that at all. I was like, mm -mm. girl, I don't ever want to get my eyebrows done here ever again. I think that's when I lived in Lake Jackson. I told her that uh, I was meeting my fiance and we were going to go on a date. So I wanted to look my best. Well, definitely found me. That was noticeable. That was like five years ago. Ooh, it's been a long time. So I am going to use a different highlighter um, or illuminator. Uh, this was a gift, actually. Um, it's a highlighter by Nomad. It's, I really like it a lot. Super pretty, super soft. It smells nice. I think it came in a gift bag. I think somebody was like described to Epsy or something. And they didn't like it. So I was lucky enough to take it as a gift. So with what I have learned about a uh, highlighter or illuminator is where to apply it. You know, you're trying to light up your face. And now that we have to wear face mask, I really do focus on my eye makeup. So I am going to put heavy eye uh, liner and um, mascara so I see why people keep pushing me to do the whole eyelashes thing because you know you can't go heavy on the lipstick now because you can't wear lipstick I, I have gotten like stains but um, wearing a face mask for 8 hours to 10 hours to 12 hours a day you get condensation in there and you have to switch it out and then the lip stain doesn't do too well. It kind of like, I don't know. Even the waterproof kind. You get dehydrated and it comes off. It cracks and chips. Anyways, enough complaining. So you're the ox. This is what I have going on. Got the brown at the bottom. Yeah, see? I kind of like it. I like it. I like it. Sometimes I like my eyeshadow so much I, I feel like, mm, if I put eyeliner, I might ruin it. But... Nah, we're gonna put some eyeliner on. So I'm gonna use this again, this natural romantic beauty. It's like really shiny. But romantic beauty professional makeup ink dip liner. I do love this. I love this a lot. So uh, I am gonna use a mirror for this, so two seconds. I just wanna show you one eye. Now I'm going to do the other one. Alright, and there's the other eye. There you go. Yeah. Um, now time for the mascara. Uh, I really do enjoy putting on mascara. It's not like... It took me a long time to start putting on mascara, actually. My experience 
for the first time was, you know, I, I scratched my eye pretty bad with a brush. I just did not I think that in that moment, I didn't know how blind I really was. I did start wearing glasses at, like, at the age of 12, maybe 10. Doctor did say that my eye vision was going to get worse if I kept reading in the dark. And I read in the dark. I love to read. I have so many books, I don't have space for my books. They're all in boxes and I hate that. I want them to be readily available so I can just read whatever. Not bad, I didn't do any research on the Year of the Ox. But I will have like little captions at the bottom. I, I am going to do my research just... I'm just going to focus at one thing at a time like this mascara that's getting all over the darn place and I got primer on my eyelashes hmm I love it I kind of want to do my bottom eyeliner but I think I'll be alright what do you think I don't know I did not put any blush on yet, so I'll work on that here in a second. Um, I don't think I'm going to use my eyelash clamps. What do you think? Should I use my eyelash clamps? Nah. We'll just go straight to the blush part. So I'm actually going to use, you know, like I said, I love the She brand, so I'm just going to stick to what I know, what I love, what works for me, and I think I used this color last time, or was it this color? I think it was this color. Oh. Well, either way, I'm not going to be using that color. I'm going to use this color right here. This one actually is a little bit more pink. Like I said, I hate that we have to wear face masks, otherwise I would also be wearing lipstick, because I love lipstick. It is like the best best part of pretty makeup I think. I think it really does bring finishes up the whole design. But yeah, this is my year of the ox eye makeup idea. I don't know if you like it, use it. If you don't, that's fine. But you know, happy Chinese New Year and I hope you guys really enjoyed this short video. Um, I am going to do a Valentine's uh, idea at the end since there's a lot going on this weekend. But hey, Freaky Friday, you know. Let's get freaky. Bye.